While growing up, I spent countless hours watching shows on the History Channel about ancient warfare, especially medieval warfare. My last birthday, I received these DVDs of shows on his channel about ancient warfare that I watched while growing up. What I remember from the videos was that they were quite good, but something seems off about this cover. It seems like it's supposed to pick the Middle Ages, but something just seems off. Very off. Let's evaluate it. Well, first, they didn't have floating words in the Middle Ages. Cut that! Now that we're past that, let's look at something else. That, that axe! That hideous double-bladed axe! Those heads gotta weigh at least three or four pounds each. And why the two? That makes it unwieldy. You probably wouldn't even use one of them. The whole thing looks wrong. No double blade axes were used in medieval combat. Cut that thing! Cut it entirely! Well, now that that's gone, let's look at something else. Wait, is that studded leather for leg armor? Studded leather? That's not armor. That won't protect him. That wasn't used. Cut that! Cut that now! That's gone now. What else is that helmet? Top looks like a conical helm of a bassinet. But what's that visor? It's got huge slots, big enough for me to shove my hand in. Nevertheless, a sword or a spear. Real bassinet visors don't look like that. They're pointed usually, with some kind around it. And you can't shove anything down the slots. Cut that helm. It's wrong. It won't protect him. It looks horrible. And it's rusty. Cut it. Now, does he have a bever? A bever? Bevers go with salets, not bassinets. Avatars go with bassinets. And is it even really a bever? Let's look closely. Wait a minute, there's a tuff of fabric at the side. That's not even a complete bever. It's just something sitting around his chest. It looked like a bever. It's not even a real bever. That's really wrong. That definitely needs to go. And what century are they trying to put this guy in? Now what else do we have here? That sky! It's polluted! It looks like the sky around Los Angeles. But there's not that much pollution. Why is it polluted? Cut that sky! It's horrid! And meanwhile we're at it, that building. It looks like the right building style, but... It's old. It looks like it's been ruins for hundreds of years. It should be brand new. Cut that building. It's terrible. And while we're at it, that, that ground's probably wrong. It's probably too old as well. That might as well go with that building and that sky from the wrong century. Now, look at saying now it's those... Those shoulder protection, that shoulder armor. It's too big. It doesn't fit. It looks like it's just resting there on top of his arms. And there's extra plates just bunched up underneath. It would be made to fit right. And it would curve more around the arm. That wouldn't even work. Cut that, definitely. That's terrible. What is this thing? And speak of arm armor, he doesn't have any armor on his elbows. They would definitely be plates on his elbows. And you have chainmail there, or at least a gambeson. And he only has a tunic. That's terrible, that needs to go. And continue down the arms, the van braces. Those are splitted van braces. Those were used during the early Middle Ages, and the metal would be a lot thicker. That's too thin. And most of his armor looks like 14th, 15th century, well, attempts at 14th, 15th century armor. And that's not early, that's late Middle Ages, so those van braces have to go. Wrong century and poorly made. Well, now those are gone. We have clamshell gauntlets. Well, they exist in the 15th century, but they're the only 15th century part of this armor. And they're rusty. So they definitely need to go. They don't match with a helmet that's 14th century. Those van braces are early medieval. Everything is off. This is a hodgepodge of centuries. This is a race. It's like giving a modern machine gun to someone in the Civil War. Now looking at 
that brigandine, that's got to be right. No, it just doesn't fit him. It's too big. It's baggy. It would fit him right. It would be up against his body. And all those vertical plates behind it, around the legs, they would be horizontal and hoop-like, so he could sit down. This would restrict his movements. Even the brigandine is wrong. Or the coat of plates. What is this? This is so bad. Well, I guess we have his eyes left in his face, but wait. Wait about that. You wouldn't see it through the helmet. You shouldn't see anything. Well, that's definitely wrong. That must go. Everything must go. That leaves us with this. Nothing. Nothing is left. What is this? Is anything right? Well, we can assume he's human. Well, can we? This is all we have. He could be a mannequin. We don't even know if he's male or human. We don't even know. Well, let's look at some real armor then. Here is real drawings of historical armors ranging from the 10th century all the way to the 17th century after the Middle Ages. As we see, none of that looks like that. And if 1400, we could see that bassinet I talked about. And we see all that armor pieces, but they attempted and fell that. Even the clamshell gauntlets. Well, that was very rather disappointing, History Channel. No more junkyard armor. Join in me and stop them in depicting this armor made of random rusty pieces from the junkyard. No respectable knight would wear this, and no respectable knight would allow this much rust on his armor. Really, History Channel. You need to work on this. Where it has happened to you? Where have you gone? Where is the history?